Welcome, Welcome to, the to the show. Geek Insider presents Into the Geekverse, the place to get an inside look at movies, comics, games, tech, and everything exciting going on in the Geekverse. Join Matthew Harris and David King as they take a deeper look at the good, the bad, and the downright terrible things our Geekverse has to offer. With live with chat, live chat, chat and geek news, special guests, and lots more. So sit back, relax, relax, and join us for a peek into the Geekverse. Alrighty, good evening everybody and welcome back to Into the Geekverse. I hope y'all's New Year's has been fantastic as well as your holidays. Uh, thank you for being patient with us. We are back. We're excited to talk to you about the recently released Avatar movie because that was a, a big news hit for a lot of things. Me and Matthew both went and saw it and we wanted to tell you about what we thought. But not just that, we also want to let you know about some changes that's coming to Into the Geekverse. But first, we want to tell you guys about that contest that we've been talking so much about. We've been promising and promising, and guess what? It's time. The new year means new swag. And this is from Core Gaming, man. And this is a uh, laptop for your mobile gaming devices. This is designed specifically for gamers. It's the Core Gaming Backpack, and it holds the most popular models of gaming laptops and your related gaming accessories. Uh, the backpack offers three large storage sections that are pre-wired for a power bank or external battery. Four side of the accessory pockets for perf are perfect for cables, phone, a gaming mouse or oversized water bottles, and there's even an external USB charger port built in that provides instant power access to your phone and other devices. In other words, if you are an e-gamer or just a gamer in general that, that likes to, to take your gaming with you, this is something that you're going to want to win, and we are giving it away in January. And there's a few more things we're giving away in the coming months. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll discuss exactly how you can enter the contest to win this and the other great prizes that we have. But now, for now, we want our first, we want to talk about Avatar because David and I both went to see it and uh, I think like within two days of each other. And, yeah. uh, you well, know, it's going to TikTok for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and I didn't catch one going in. I'm real bad about that, man. You know, I hobbled my ass in there and, uh, <laughs> Uh, then I got to get drinks and all that stuff. I always forget. And then for some reason, my camera flips everything around. But anyway, David, what are your first thoughts on Avatar, the way of the water? Um, I didn't like it. I, <laughs> I didn't. Um, me and Matthew, for, for all you guys who know, we when we grew up, you know, we've always talked about these movies and everything. And it's been hard for us biting our tongue. And Avatar, we watched, and it almost feels like it's been a month now. Uh, we've watched it, and we've been waiting to, to talk naturally to each other about it in front of you guys. So I finally got to tell Matthew I didn't like it. I mean, then, what did you like? I loved it. Uh, I mean, it was a three-hour movie. It didn't feel like a three-hour movie to me. Um, I, I thought that, you know, the uh, special effects, the, the film, film – uh, whatever you cinematography want to call it. yeah cinematography i was trying to call it film <laughs> uh but yeah i thought the cinematography was great um some of the advancements that they have made since the last one i uh, wasn't really happy with the storyline though there you got me right there so i will give you props cinematography um he, dude he has nailed it and we got exactly what we were expecting the high quality of movie from him however this long anticipated movie, I was expecting the best of both worlds. After all this time, a three hour movie, I was like, this one is going to be plot enriched with a beautiful environment that head to toe, I'm going to be super pleased with. Right. But unfortunately, the plot I wasn't super happy with. I loved all the scenery that we got, but the most memorable thing was just like, look at the pretty water and the, and the trees and their culture. But there was no, I didn't get, like, there was conflict, but I wasn't, I wasn't along for the ride up to the climax and then 
down for it. It's just all of a sudden there was these battles and stuff. I didn't feel like it was building up and I didn't feel the anticipation or I wasn't excited to guess what was happening. I was like, you know, right. what so, you know, I've got to say props. Um, it's not a horrible movie. I'm just, the reason why I don't like it is you spent this long. It's this big of a movie and there wasn't much of a plot, especially with you saying that there's going to be a third one next year. No, I think it, well, was it 24? Yeah. Cause it was two yeah, years from the release date. And um, so, you know, definitely room. I'm not saying don't go watch it, but um, you have a lot of time. What happened with that plot? <laughs> you know, and what it kind of feels like, because with the way it ends, we definitely knew, you know, even if you didn't know when you see the ending, you know, there's going to be another one. And that's what this felt like really was a three hour build up to the next movie. Um, I didn't really need the humans to come back. The, the I, with the, uh, the water tribe or whatever it was, I thought that was cool. I thought, you know, this is their own planet. They're not, everybody's going to live in harmony. Um, mm -hmm. There's going to be factions and, and there could have been, it was just kind of lazy writing to me, uh, you know, after all this time. Yeah, that's just a lazy way to go of, oh, but, they're pissed and they're coming back to tear it all down. More specifically, it's the same antagonist. Yeah. Oh, and that they killed before, but oh, no, we cloned him. Yeah, and, no, but if that was a thing, then how come, like, in the previous movie, they made it seem like they they would, if, if he already recorded all that, they would have known and last movie they wouldn't have been so worried about death or whatever and all that like right we could just be reincarnated as i don't know but anyway and i guess we should have said uh spoiler alerts <laughs> ahead we are you know folks if you're not familiar with this show into the geek verse david and i just have a conversation uh with, on these type of shows we have guests on and stuff too but on these type of shows, we like to just hash it out and, and discuss what we think of it. And it, it's pretty much just our weekly phone call or our phone call after we've seen a new movie. Um, but, but yeah, we're going to spoil it. We're going to discuss it. We don't go completely in depth. We don't completely ruin it for you, but there are going to be some things that, that we discuss that you're going to be going, don't, you didn't tell me spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. Um, Hey guys, if you don't know, spoiler alert ahead, <laughs> and we'll just cut that, add it to the other one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so did you see on the internet, it's saying that the next one's going to be the Fire Navi, which is another tribe, but instead of the Water tribe, it's going to be Fire. Well, I kind of assumed that, um, I forget what he said at the end, I, I forget... There was something that made me think, oh, they're bringing in, a, they're going to bring in somebody else, another tribe. Definitely. And, now, and I think it's going to be kind of like, you know, a war, world war and uh, or uh, the Avengers Endgame, so to speak. That brings up my point, and it mixes with what you said earlier. If, if we're going to do a plot, and to me, it's easier to build a plot with not already existing characters, like the antagonist you've already killed before bringing back. I would have expected, say you love the idea of bringing him back or whatever. Okay, let's sidestep that one. What if you have another tribe that you're having a conflict with? They're doing a battle. That's what the movie's about. And then the last little bit, when they're at war, the humans come in and they're like, Shh, we've got and to they stop this. They're, they are right. taking our resources away from us while we're battling each other. Right. Then do it. Then I would Dude, be more beautiful. okay with bringing the humans back. But right after, and it's the same antagonist, Right. You should have at least made it where they were, at, you know, and, yeah, or also lead a little bit more into it. Like what if they're fighting each other and then there's this person who's just, they know everything about you and they're dominating you. You're totally confused. And then later you figure out that it's the same guy that would have been more like, Oh shoot. They brought him back rather than this movie was just like, boom in your face. We, we and you know, back. he had a son that was left behind and, and, and he's all cool with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> they jammed that in at the front of the movie. They were like, catch all of this, and then boom, look at all this pretty stuff that we take to boom <laughs> with. And so it wasn't a natural flow where I was getting built up into the movie. And I know and we're being really critical about this stuff, but I, I want to tell you guys, for people who have in-depth views, people who don't, um, 
people who just sit down and enjoy a movie, you know, watch it. You know, I definitely think that you can enjoy it. But for people who are like me and Matthew and we like to rewatch these things and be like, oh, you know, what would we like to see and everything? And that's what we bring to you guys. Now, I, I got to ask, um, what did you think of the children? You know, I thought not being a father myself, I, I actually liked the aspect of having the kids in there, especially because you've got this dynamic between there's the weird, weird child, there's the kid, kid, child, the one that misbehaves, the one that has to is accountable for all of them. Right, right. I get these stories, but that made me more understand. I think him from a father role, we could have seen more to make us more emotional. And I would have life. liked that. That's where I, where I was going to go come from is I like the kids. I liked that dynamic. I liked the family dynamic living in the t- trees and, and that whole thing. I liked that a lot. And, you know, if they would have focused on the kids more, it, if it had been more of the kids story and them coming of age kind of thing, um, and, and moving towards the water or bringing them together with the water tribe, any of that kind of stuff would have worked for me. It's just, you know me, man, I'm a writer. I, I write every single day, all day long. And to me, this plot line was lazy writing. I couldn't agree even more. Um, by the way, once again, guys, major spoilers ahead. <laughs> and, but I've got to ask you, um, when he makes that decision that he has to leave his family, his tribe, and all of that, tell me, what what were you thinking when you were watching that scene where the wife doesn't want to go? He's telling them, like, we've got to go for the safety. Tell, tell me what you were thinking about in that moment. Well, first off, to cut this out, you're freezing up again. Um, but... I got chills when you just asked that because giving up the the leadership, having to leave the home, the wife being so upset, I thought that was done really well. I'm getting chills again here with it. I, that was one of the better parts of the movie emotionally. I teared up in the theater. Folks, I don't mind telling you, I am a big old pussy. Um, I'm an empath, and if something sad's going on or someone else is crying, my ass is tearing up. You know, yeah, I look all gruff and little old ladies move to the other side of the street, but I'm a big old softy. And yeah, I, I thought that was one of the cooler aspects of it because it really, sh- I mean, you kind of see the humanity of the whole thing that him and her, not just his, you know, Jake's humanity, but you see that what we call humanity within her. And mm-hmm. uh, so, yeah, I, I really liked that. Um, I, I, I thought that was one of the stronger points of the movie. Definitely. I mean, when we were talking about all this stuff that we didn't like about the plot, and there's two reasons why I wanted to bring this up. Um, you're a father yourself that's uh, gone through a many tales that a lot of people uh, couldn't even understand going through. And then also, um, I want to say that there is some good things that I like. That was a good plot line. I think that although they could have kept the movie going in the same tribe and everything, the same area it was really elevating to have them go through that and realize that it's more than us. Now we're putting other people in danger and going through that process. I do want to say I did like that part of the plot. So it's not all like total pops, total terrible. There was good stuff. Yeah, there was good things, but on the flip side too, I, I, as far as I remember, there was no mentioning, Hey, Across the ocean is this other tribe. It's just they take off flying and they keep flying and then bam, they're where this water tribe is. Yeah, and I sorry. <laughs> no, uh, there should have been somebody going, Hey man, yeah, you got to get the fuck out of here. But you know, if you go nine thousand miles across the ocean, there's some, you know, a, a tribe that but he already knew them, you know, so or knew of them. That's exactly the confusing point to me because I don't remember it ever being mentioned before. It and it felt like they were like, we're just going to fly until we find somewhere to set up. And, and then, then they gets, find it. And I'm like, right. oh, shoot, there's people there. What is he going to do? There's people. And then he's like, oh, shoot, they all know each other. Why didn't right. you tell us this before? Right. We're going to head out of here. Uh, you know, I, I got this old buddy out there or, or uh, acquaintance. 
And we're going to, you know, we'll see if they'll let us stay with them, even though, you know, uh, it could get them killed, but we're going to be far enough away. They'll never find us. Um, and, you know, I did like the water tribe. I liked that that dynamic of going away from the woods, going into the water. Uh, you know, you see some bullying and a little bit of racism yeah, going on. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. What was what did you want to say about the bullying and racism? No, I mean, it kind of ties in with the kid point that we were talking about. And I, I don't want to draw on one point too much, but I was going to also um, transition the questioning from the father's side into um, watching the kids going through that bullying and stuff. Um, do you, how balanced do you think that was from a father's standpoint? Like, do you think that the interference of the father was correctly balanced um like how much do you let your kids fight for themselves and learn discipline them afterwards and you know what you know um i think that it's really nice to be able to have that kind of point of view like i said i'm not a father myself and this was a really moving thing we got to see the evolution of that bullying someone becoming sure. the bigger man over it um and i was just curious whether you thought like well first off you not being a father Yet, if you ever have a child that acts like that youngest one and does not listen at all, and you don't bend them over your knee, I'm bending you over my knee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I turned to Brenda and I nudged her. I said, that damn kid doesn't listen at all. <laughs> she does exactly the opposite of what he says every time. It wasn't like, oh, I better mind this time. Daddy's going to get me. It was like, no. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh it it goes for quite a ride we won't spoil um you know one of the things is we want to tell you more about the reviews we'll let you experience the whole thing for itself so we won't tell you too much about like what went happening during that but those scenes make it definitely worth to watch um moving from there going into the water what do you think about how they connect with like the sky dragons and stuff in the first movie and then in the second movie still connecting with the animals of that culture. Uh, you know, I have my own opinion, but I wanted to ask you first, what do you think about the first one and the second one, both having that thing where well, they have it, to connect with animals? It, it kind of makes sense, you know, that, that they'd still have the ponytail to hook up to something and something that has to choose them. Um, I did like the twist. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but <laughs> with the middle, the middle boy and the one fish, the outcast. I thought that was cool. I, I thought that was cool. And it, 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 you know, the, the interactions and what happens with it again, don't want to spoil too much, which was a great story development. It wasn't it was. just something thrown on the side and they didn't make it too important, too little. They right. casually let it gradually. And that was, and we learned cool. that story of, of that. I, I did. I, I enjoyed that. What did, what did you think about the nut? the dynamic between the animals. Yeah. I've seen some things on the internet who, that they talk about repetition from the first movie to the second movie. And, you know, I, I know they're talking about that, but you have to consider that you're going to be immersed into a movie and it's not just the movie, but they want you to understand the culture and everything. They are one race. Uh, they're one, you know, people, you know, they're all right. Navi. Um, right. and so it would make sense, like you said, that they would still have ponytails and some of their basic ones. Of course, evolution led them a different path, but they still they have longer the same tails. And I like that they're not like these are just totally different species or whatever. Like right, it's right. still the same species. It's the Navi it's race. Just, it's they, the Navi race. And I like that. And I think that they had the little bit of different ones. At first, I was just kind of like, oh another flying one but it can go in the water but they don't focus on it too much and so right. what they're trying to say is this is our peeper our culture this is important to us it's the same thing with i wish i could say it's like the world tree or something that they connect yeah, to. Yeah, it's yeah. still that important and it's just and under the water for them it's not repetitive it's you're you're being in the culture you're being in that species that world like that's who they are just like humans like everywhere around the world you're going to see people driving or walking or you know it's it's what we do it, you know people speak different languages but we're still the same species so yeah no i'm glad we're on the same page with that um i just 
I've tried to read some of this kind of stuff and maybe answer in the way that I would take it. For instance, that we're, we're in the culture, it's the same species. Have you seen anything on the internet, either likes or dislikes that, um, you want to touch on about the movie? No, bro. Whenever we see movies like this that we plan on discussing, I avoid any kind of discussions, any <laughs> reviews. I do because I don't want it to taint my or, or, or influence my thinking on it because you know how that can do. Somebody brings up a point and you're like, yeah, that's a good point. No, I want it to be my opinions and, and getting your feedback on that. So no, I ain't read jack shit. Now, and guys, don't get us wrong. We love when you can drop us a comment, yeah, tell us yeah, about definitely. those kind of things. We review it. We just want when we talk to be our first reactions. Exactly. Now, my my reactions are still the same, but after I saw it, I was just looking up some of those things that came across my page and reading where people are like, oh, you know, like it was repetitive. I don't like it. I want to make sure you all know that I, it's – I that wasn't because of it about being repetitive. That wasn't a reason for me. It was mainly just the plot where I was just like, come on, you could have been better. You spent well, a lot of time on this. I can tell you, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I was looking forward to it, but there are at least three movies coming out in the next three months that I'm way more excited about than I was Avatar. Uh, oh yeah definitely i mean we've been really big marvel dc buffs and everything and of course the the next biggest one that i can think about is ant-man uh wasp the quantum right. and uh, we've even have a little funny tiktok already out on it so uh go check out our tiktok if you haven't already um yeah, definitely but back to avatar um you know we're we're kind of wrapping up with our review right. of avatar um, but I've got to say, we talked about a lot of likes, dislikes. Um, let's get down to pretty much the ending of the movie. Um, once again, guys, by the way, spoilers, I can't say it right. enough. The conflict. Tell me your thoughts about the conflict um, at the end of the movie. You probably know because it's kind of the only thing. But right. what do you think about that major fight? And I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. Um, likes, dislikes. Middle take it. I'm split on this because again, don't want to give too much away, but the whole water rising thing was good. Mm -hmm. The whole thing with the kids and the bad guy, lazy riding. It, it, and that <laughs> funny, I just was talking about non repetitive, but I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about with the kids. That's just like, okay, this, and then the, then again, and it's like, okay, cool, you got them out of the way. Just kidding, again, right, right. And it's and it's the same thing, it's not different scenes or anything. It's not funny where it happened at the beginning of the movie and then it accidentally happened in the middle, right? It was foreshadowed, you know, like, and then it was just. No, it was all one scene, multiple times the same thing. Right. Um, but also, you know, I were you surprised when you saw that the the antagonist's kid and what he ended up doing at the end? I'm sure you know. What yeah, I'm yeah, and no. Uh, I didn't know I, how I had to feel about it. I'm, I'm right there with you. Here, I'm like, same here. oh, is he? And then I'm like, uh -oh. so. Um, were you surprised with what the antagonist's kid did? Yes and no. Again, I, I kind of think it was not lazy writing but because you have that tug. He is, you know, human after all. And so you, you've got that connection. It's your dad uh, being adopted. I can kind of, and meeting my, my natural dad later on in life. I can kind of understand that. But what he ends up doing, it, again, it kind of feels like lazy writing because it makes the freaking room for him to come back in the third one. But Let's have a new thing, villain. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, in that point, though, right before that moment, the, the protagonist's wife uses the antagonist's kid as a, a shield. And yeah. I'm guessing, like, that was literally... That was literally the only bit, even though they spent a lot of time together, the antagonist and his kid, that was the only bit that made me think, oh, okay, maybe he's going to go back to his father or whatever. Right, right. But nothing else. You didn't build it up. You had an opportunity to build it up for us to believe this. But I'm like, how do I, 
I see it's happening, but how am I believing this? But and without giving it away, when she used him as a shield and did what she did, I totally thought that she really did it. I thought <laughs> I thought homie was gone. <laughs> And, and dude, and that was one of those things that I like in movies that if it would have happened, I would have been like, all right, I'm, I'm back into this. What? <laughs> right, right. That would have made me rewatch and look for little instances to see this going. Yeah. But it was weird because prior in the movie, uh, he was just gone. And then they moved on. And then he was super happy to see them and everything. I'm like, you didn't for once think that they abandoned you? Right. <laughs> like, he was just, yeah. I was like, are you not struggling with this at all? Really? But again, folks, we're not saying that this is a horrible movie that you shouldn't see. One, never, ever take anybody's review and their own opinions as gospel. Everybody likes different things and, and dislikes different things. And this is definitely worth a watch. I do. You know, I told you I liked it overall. I just thought the storyline was a little bit of lazy writing, but the visuals and everything, it, it, it deserves to be seen on the big screen. I may even see it again before it leaves the big screen. I, uh, Brenda has already said the same thing. And that's saying something because sitting in a movie theater for three hours is excruciating for Brenda and I. And so, uh, you know, yeah, that's saying a lot. Uh, but going in with eyes wide open, you know, I, I might just wait until the Blu-ray comes out and I can uh, have it on my 900-inch TV. Guys, if you know us and you've watched our shows, which you haven't, you should. And uh, we we watch indie movies. We watch almost anything and everything that's out there. And we're going to tell you, we're not telling you don't watch this. I would say we're more telling you if you're deciding – we're letting you know, right. can you wait or can you not? This will help you kind of wait. Do I go see it in movie theaters? Do I get it on Redbox or, you know, right. date night? Like, do I flip through the channels? Oh, do we like this? That's what and, we're saying. Because you're going to have a different opinion than a lot of people out there. We're just And on the flip side, <laughs> and a flip side of that, if you've already seen it, this show can help you. Like David and I, we, we go and go, oh, yeah, that's exactly right. It can help you hammer out some of those uh, – uh, on the fence feelings or uh, verify your feelings that are either positive or negative. Cause while David and I generally like the same movies, we're always going to have differences of opinion on certain things. And then like this, you know, he didn't like it overall. Um, I can uh, forgive the storyline and appreciate everything else enough to where I'd see it again at the theater. I know I'm sure you'd see you'll see it again on, on video. Oh, on demand I've already or whatever. talked about it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be seeing that again. I, I definitely want to, and I do really think that the cinematography is great. But to that point, the reason why in between, the reason why I'm on this side of the line of like I didn't like it rather than I liked it, but you know, on your point, the only reason why is because since the first movie, the first movie was just evolutionary for cinematography. Right, right, now it's right. just kind of like, well, we have in been there, done we that. have all of that stuff. Right. You're just, you're giving us this great thing, the cinematography, but you're not, but before I, I like it just because of that for first off, I mean, I like it for the well, lot too, but. At least we don't have to wait 13 years for the next one. <laughs> um, well, so we, we think. Yeah, so, so it might, and I know that they filmed a lot of the the primary uh, filming alongside this, and so it's mainly in post production. Um, which, speaking of post production, we're going to talk about some post production stuff here in just a minute. Yeah, uh, of course. Um, was there anything else you wanted to say about Avatar? No, I think I covered it. Like I said, folks, if you haven't seen it, uh, you probably shouldn't watch this video. But <laughs> <laughs> Go see uh, it and then come back and watch it again. Tell right. us if you got what we were referencing. And, and tell us if, you know, hey, you idiots are completely off your rockers. Um, <laughs> and, and that's one thing, folks. Uh, uh, you know, we love the feedback. While we don't have the live chat anymore, which we'll discuss in a second, um, we do want to hear back from you. Leave comments. David and I, or one of us, or both of us, we go through at least a couple of times a week and check on comments, or rather I say we're going to. Um, we've been pretty <laughs> lax in it lately, but we're going to. That's the 
whole reason for the changes in the show. But before we talk about the changes in the show, David, any, I'm done on Avatar. Anything else you want to say in final words? I think we've uh, we finished up pretty nicely without you know spoiling too much and giving our opinion. My final say, guys, check it out when you can. Um, I wouldn't say it's a tremendous rush. If you like a really beautiful looking movie, then yes, go see it now in theaters. Um, if you're wanting, how many to theaters do they got to see it in? Uh, you know, all of them. <laughs> you know me, man. I mess with everybody that says, "Oh, I want to see it in theaters." Oh yeah, how many theaters did you see? It in? I, I'm well, so sorry. You know, the... between us two, we've seen some that's got good seating, <laughs> oh. bad seating, middle seating. It depends. That, that was something I was going to say a while ago. Uh, when you were talking about being on this side of the fence, you do know my baseline for that. Venom. We uh. both were on this side of the fence for Venom. And then we saw the first time we saw it, then we saw it again. And we were both on the other side of the fence and yeah. liked it. The first um, one, the second was, one, I'm still yeah, on the other Yeah, thing. same here. And then Morbius, we were both on this side of the fence. I saw it again. I was on this side of the fence and you were further on this side of the yeah, fence. Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> Guys, and, and dude, we've got wonderful videos. Um, if you have not already, subscribe uh, to our channel. You could check out our list of videos. Uh, we have anything from under the sun pretty much for you. Anything that's geeky. Yeah, because there's been other shows, folks. There, there's reviews, uh, uh, unboxings, which are kind of sporadic. Uh, depending on when I get swag in. Woo, you better check out our newest unboxing. That's a hit. <laughs> Man, that was so cool. Uh, if you hadn't checked it out, folks, look at a little clip right here. For the changes to the channel, don't worry. Into the Geekverse isn't going anywhere. Don't you worry. No, we're not going anywhere, folks. What we're doing is, is instead of David and I going off and just having a conversation for an hour and, and working it live every week, we're recording the shows and then doing a little post-production editing um, like the big boys do. Um, the reason for this is is it's just op opens a lot of opportunities for us in various ways. Um, and so you're going to notice some different things. A, a, there's no more live chat. Um, we will still be answering questions and, and responding to comments. But uh, we have <laughs> some really good sponsors lined up uh, over the next few months. Like I mentioned earlier, Core Gaming slash Mobile Edge. Um, they have been a big, big supporter of this channel, of the Geek Insider channel. Um, they used to, to sponsor the Geek Speak show that was getting really popular until, unfortunately, Meredith passed away uh, almost a year ago. Well, a year ago next month. Um, and, and they've been really fantastic with this channel. We love them. They love us. That's why they gave us this $100 backpack to give away that you are going to want to stay tuned to find out how you can win. Check it out. MobileEdge.com has award-winning products with innovative features and contemporary edgy designs that empower you to look sharp and travel smart with your mobile tech. Your beloved, not to mention expensive gaming gear and mobile tech devices are an extension of you, so give them the protection and style they deserve wherever you go. Find them at MobileEdge.com and protect your tech with Mobile Edge. Bring it on. Um, and, and we've just, you know, uh, we have, what else? Is, oh, there was Meredith's uh, comic stuff where she does a lot of reviews on comic books. And I'm telling you, folks, I have found a lot of good comic books based on that stuff that Meredith did. Uh, the indies that, that we built those uh, relationships with. 
And so there's a lot of content on the channel then, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, guys, we may be uh, doing from time to time a little bit of live videos. They're going to be short. Yeah. Oh, You'll yeah, probably yeah, catch yeah. them more on TikTok, but say like trailers and stuff. We're really excited to start bringing to you some of these new ideas and these uh, higher quality videos for you. Um, just keep in mind, guys, everything that we're going through, this is all for you. We appreciate um, all that y'all do for us. And if you have any, you know, feedback, any questions or any ideas that you'd like to see from us, you can always email either David at GeekInsider.com or Matthew at GeekInsider.com. We welcome any of it. And one thing that we wanted to touch on, we know that that towards the end of the year last year, we had discussed having a gaming uh, channel here on the channel or a gaming section. And, and we were really excited to bring that. Um, that is still in the works. It's just going to be a little bit more down the road than what we had planned because we are giving more focus to, to end of the geek verse right now. We really want to start 2023 out. Right. And, that's one reason why we waited to start these contests because folks, as you saw earlier, we got some cool stuff lined up for the next couple of months. And if you haven't seen that rewind, because I talked about it earlier and <laughs> all right, I'll be nice. Here it is again. We want to tell you guys about that contest that we've been talking them so much about. We've been promising and promising. And guess what? It's time. The new year means new swag. And this is from Core Gaming, man. And this is a uh, laptop for your mobile gaming devices. This is designed specifically for gamers. It's the Core Gaming Backpack, and it holds the most popular models of gaming laptops and your related gaming accessories. Now, as you can see, since we are recording, um, we're going to be posting our videos. These are going to be Monday. Stay tuned as we're finding just the right time to be able to bring these to you. It's going to be going um, on Mondays for our YouTube channels and our podcasts. But that being said, our TikTok is going to be having teasers of our videos that's going to actually air at least the day before. Uh, so make sure that you're subscribing to our TikTok uh -oh. where you see all of our... You froze. Where do you Not want me to... Go back on. Go back to starting that TikTok. Start all the way. Yeah. Or do you just want me to go ahead and start over the whole we're recording posting on Monday? No, TikTok is fine. Just where <laughs> you start talking about TikTok. Okay. Uh, now, catch more of our TikTok content by subscribing, where we'll be doing teasers at least one day before posting our videos so that you can kind of get an idea on uh, what you don't want to miss. And now, of course, on top of being able to do our teasers, you're also not going to want to miss us doing any of the trending topics that you may be seeing on TikTok. And you never know when there might be a hint dropped or uh, about the contest or a chance to get an extra entry. Um, that's some stuff that we have planned. Uh, can you believe it, folks? I mean, I am, uh, well, we'll just say I'm older than David. <laughs> um, but I, I had a TikTok, had watched maybe two videos on TikTok, and that was just because, like, my daughter, one of my daughters sent it to me or something. But it sat there gathering dust on my phone <laughs> until David was like, hey, should we start a TikTok? And Rhett, the man who brings all of this to you, was like, I never thought it'd be worth it. And then, bam, we joined a, or we created a channel. And then what do we know? We, we ended up with, like, 50 followers in a couple of days uh but we've been remiss with the holidays and my house got invaded with family uh <laughs> i don't know how i became the the go-to spot but i did and uh but anyway the holidays are over january is here we got months and months without a real holiday and so we've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up um which includes what's coming up next week which is some of the kick-ass games that are coming out this year. I mean, we've only got, we, I think we picked what, the top seven that we're going to discuss or something like that, but there's some really cool games coming out. Definitely. And Our next video is going to be going over 2023's video games as we've been coming. We've seen a lot of y'all's responses on our video game stuff. I'm really excited to be able to share that stuff with you guys. On that point, we will now be posting our videos on the Mondays of the 2nd and the 4th of the yeah, month. Yeah, that is a good point. So we'll be having two videos a month. 
Now, guys, Instead I know you week. like to see us weekly and us our talks, oh, but yes, we're our, doing this for you. <laughs> you know, we yeah. got it all nice and cleaned yeah. up for you guys. But we want to make sure that we're giving you really good quality views and not long, drawn-out um, videos of just anything that's out there. So um, if tell us what you think, any ideas that you'd like for future incoming videos. We'd like to see any of those comments or emails from you guys. Yeah, definitely. And and folks, the the changing in the show, like you said, is for you guys. Uh, we want to bring better quality. That means that some shows aren't going to be a full hour like they have been in the past because uh, we're going to do some post-production editing. Um, but we're not planning to change anything. You're still going to get these kind of shows right here where it's David and I going deeper into the geek verse. But we have some killer guests lined up. It, it kind of backtracking where I said where the gaming stuff is, is on hold. That doesn't mean that we're giving up on gaming. We're still going to talk about games like we just said. We're, we're going to go over with the best games that are coming out this year. But we're going to bring in some guests. I've got some things in the works with folks in the gaming world, whether mm. they are some of the better esports players or better known esports players or whether there's some that are behind the scenes building these freaking games that are so popular. I can't promise that I'm going to get them, but I'm working on them. <laughs> and Absolutely. Matthew has a good record of, of getting those people. So Absolutely. And guys, with that being said, if you're watching our channel and you have any comic books that you're getting worked on, video yeah. games, uh, anybody that you're doing that kind of stuff, we'd be happy to hear from you. Um, you were also really um, – hit to home ground for people who are just getting started because you know some of the best stuff is found there and we'd love to have you on the show uh, so you know hit us up and let us know if you've got any projects you're working on yep definitely and with that folks i am done talking about avatar how about you david uh, I am done uh, i hope you guys are as excited as we are for these changes and the new year and um, um, as always Thank you for staying tuned. Folks, again, happy freaking new year. I hope the year is better than 2020, 2021, and 2022 combined. Let's all have a great year. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe because, as we've been saying like multiple times, there's some cool shit coming your way. Say good night, David. Good night, everybody. Oh, that does it for this episode of Into the Geek Bird. If you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you want to join us live, live, hit that bell so you never miss a show. Want to catch us on the go? Listen to our podcast on every major platform, but you can catch the real fun on YouTube. Be sure to visit geekinsider.com for tons of great geek content and advertising opportunities. And if you want to stay up to date on all things geeky, sign up for our newsletter. We'll see you next Sunday at 9 p.m. Central. And if you're not here, we might have to revoke your geek card. Have a great, have a great week, everyone. Week, everyone. everyone. Hey, Insiders, here it is. We're giving away this fantastic gaming backpack from Core Gaming, and it's perfect for all of your gaming gear. The giveaway starts this Friday, and to enter, just visit uh, geekinsider.com slash giveaway. That's geekinsider.com slash giveaway, and there are several ways to get your name in the hat, so to speak, and the deadline to enter is January 31st. So if you're a gamer or you know a gamer that could really use this backpack, Make sure you visit geekinsider.com slash giveaway.